I was born and raised in the Bronx. So I was a child of nine kids. I was in and out of foster care with my brothers and sisters. Most of my childhood, I was away from my parents. I ended up pregnant. I just didn't feel very supported in my high school. I felt like I didn't belong. I felt like I was being charged all the time. So I left high school. Once I got to high school, everything just went downhill. I was running the streets and being wild with my friends. It was definitely rough. Came across this flyer. I called them up, did an application, spoke to the primary counselor, and I was in. Eastside House is a social services organization. Uh, we're located in the Bronx. We believe that education is going to enable our participants to get out of poverty and get into the economic mainstream. From the first day I, I went in there, they made me feel like home. They, they sat me down, they helped me with the applications, they got me a job, I, they put me in class right away. From day one, I felt so supported. I felt like it was a family. This was the place I was supposed to be. We try to eliminate the barriers that are stopping students that may not have anything to do with school. Home visits to kids' houses to find out what the living condition is, to see if there are beds in the home that kids can sleep. How come they haven't eaten in a while? We do get a lot of government funding. We also get a lot of private funding through foundations. And we also have a wonderful events team doing the Winter Antique Show. This is gonna be our 64th year. It started out as something very, very small. And over the years, it has blossomed into a institution. Uh, something that people look forward to year after year. Eastside House Settlement started the show. The show is owned by Eastside House Settlement. Every penny that the show makes through admissions, uh, booth rentals, uh, underwriting and so forth goes to our programs in the South Bronx in one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. 20,000 plus people that come to the Winter Antique Show are collectors to have a tie-in with an insurance company who so many of our patrons use is a win-win situation for everybody. Change the equation around. Inner city education is critical for the health of all cities. And without organizations like Eastside House, uh, cities wouldn't be what they are. Bonus question, are you better now? Are you moving in a better direction? How does that make you feel? So once I came here, it was just like open doors everywhere. How are you doing? My name is Denzel Saunders. I work for Job Plus, we're an organization. Without Job Plus or Easter House, I wouldn't be the person I am today. They molded me into becoming a young man. We measure our success by how many students, not just that we're meeting with and talking with, but actually how many are graduating, how many are progressing. I would like to be an accountant. As of now, I'm going to be studying that in Borough Manhattan Community College. I was the first person to graduate with my GED and the first person to attend college in my family. I don't, I don't, I don't even look back on the past anymore. Like, I wake up every morning, smile, I'm just happy to go to work. It's a brand new me.